What's up, what's up? I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. Like herpes. Oh, I got a crick in my back just now as I did that. Um, I'm excited to be here with you. Happy Monday. Hope your Monday's off to a great start. Okay, I'm gonna just get right to what you guys asked a ton of questions. So let's, uh, yeah, a lot of questions. Let me get to it and we can go from there. Feel free to ask your questions here. I will also answer them. I love when you guys are live with me um, and I appreciate it. All right, uh, I think every bump is now herpes. I've always gotten ingrown hairs. How do I know the difference? Well, there's a couple of ways. I mean, ingrown hairs and herpes can look very similar. You're gonna learn to know what your outbreak looks like. So I can give you, I can talk for myself for an example. I get them in two locations. Um, one location, it's a paper cut. The other location, it's like a little, it's a bump. Um, I usually catch it before it's a blister. It doesn't normally turn into a blister, but it is a bump. Um, usually there's nerve pain attached to it. So when you touch it, it's like a, oof, you know, like one of those like, oof, feelings. Um, very tender. You know, an ingrown hair, you can normally like kind of play with, pick at, uh, try and pop. It's not that painful. Um, with a herpes blister, it's too painful to touch. That's typically how I know the difference. Um, of course, I'd see if, typically if you can pop it, it's not, it, it's not herpes. It's an ingrown hair, it's a blister of some sort that's not herpes, is in my personal experience. Of course, everyone's a little bit different. Um, if you are wondering or not sure, I would err on the side of, of it is herpes. Um, and I'd err on that side just to be, just to be safe. Um, okay, upload pics. Um, will I upload pics of how outbreaks look on the internet? Wait, upload pics of how outbreaks look on the internet just to show the worst pics and that makes the stigma worse. Yeah, people do that. Um, I definitely don't suggest going towards the internet and looking at that. I just think it creates so much fear, anxiety. Um, it is really, some of those pictures are awful. One of the things, like I've talked to people and like, I just thought you always had an outbreak and that's obviously not the case, right? Um, that's worst case scenario, what you see on the internet. Will all outbreaks look like the first outbreak sores every time you have an outbreak but milder? Um, I would say they will... Uh, they might change over time. Um, I can't totally tell you what mine looked like back in 2011. Um, they were more of a big sore. Now mine are, like I said, little paper cuts. Um, they are definitely not what they were back in 2011. Um, they have gotten a lot milder. Mine clear up, heal up within a couple of days, two, three days max. It's not the same, um, I guess, like shock or trauma that when you have outbreaks now years later is when you first got them you're taking antivirals daily 28 weeks pregnant i've taken them for about eight months now um, and i was having outbreaks every month how do you think my body will cope after i stop any advice first of all awesome on being um pregnant that's so exciting so you're on them now or you're getting off of them um you know, I, we don't know how your body are gonna, is going to react. Um, your body, because you're pregnant too, there's like just so many other things going on. Um, I would say um, all you can do is try and see. Um, of course, you're going to want to be on them as you get closer to your due date. That's what your doctor is going to ask you to do if you plan on having a vaginal delivery. And um, I was worried about it too when I got close to my my delivery date, like uh, am I going to have an outbreak? But um, You'll be fine. I'm so excited for you. Just get a plan together with your doctor. As long as you have a plan, you guys can can move forward and get some things. Uh, decide on what you both feel comfortable with, your doctor and you. Is it hard to know if I'm having an outbreak or allergic reaction because I'm so sensitive to... It's so hard for me to know if you're having an outbreak or allergic reaction because I'm so sensitive to personal items. Um, again, I would just say that, that a herpes outbreaks is pretty painful. You... You can't, you don't really want to touch it. Um, it's like that type of thing, like you, you don't, it's like, oh, I don't want to touch that. It might hurt that type of feeling. Um, so I would say if you're in question, I'd get it swabbed. 
if you're in question air on the side of that's what it is that you have a herpes outbreak i would say if you're in question on it uh you're welcome i'm so excited for you to have a little baby it's the best it's so fun um how do you massage how do you do a massage therapist how do i let them know i just tell them um if i'm having an outbreak like i've had massages with outbreaks um and i let them know like hey i have an outbreak um i've covered this area with a band-aid or don't go near this area or i have underwear don't go you know like i let them know i do tell them i have an outbreak and i give them their option hey i have an outbreak i've covered it up what do you want to do i've never had any massage therapist say no i won't massage you so um yeah that's how i handle it do lysine does lysine give you gallstones if taken daily i haven't heard of that um it's a protein we eat the protein every day um, it's in the food we consume. I haven't heard of people getting gallstones from it. Um, so, I don't even really know what gallstones are, to be honest. So, um, is a, is a fissure near my anal herpes, or is it just a regular fissure due to bowel movement? How can you tell? So, I get those two, I assume they what a fissure is. It's like a little tear around your um, anal opening. That's where I get my outbreaks. They are little tears, um, that are very sensitive. Um, and those are my outbreaks. I err on the side of it is an outbreak. Um, it takes usually a couple days for it to heal. I would say if you think it is, then I would err on the side of that's what it is. Yeah. I didn't read this story. Do you still take, do you still make antibodies while taking the antiviral? Um, I have talked to people that have been on the antiviral their whole time and they don't have antibodies yet. So I have heard of people that happening to the majority of us. Yeah, we make antibodies while we're on the antiviral. So don't worry about that. You have HSP one and two on your thumb. Can I transfer to other parts of my body? If you have the antibodies for HSP one or HSP two, no matter where it's located, then no, you can't transfer to other parts of your body. Um, if you don't have the antibodies, then yeah, be careful. And um, when you have outbreaks, and be careful where you know if, if you're gonna touch other parts. Why is herpes still illegal and underneath a sex crime if the CDC doesn't recommend testing for it? You know, that's a really great question. Um, that's a really great question. I haven't thought of it that way. Yeah, if we're not re requiring people to get tested for it, then um, you can sue people for it. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's like just, again, part of the stigma. Um, I do think that herpes should be part of STD tests. I do think it should be something that's more aware. Let people know that like this is something you're most likely going to get at some point in your life. Um, not to stigmatize it, not to make it uh, embarrassing. Here's ways to prevent getting it, right? Uh, here's ways that you can protect yourself or protect your partner. But no, by no means should we stigmatize it. Um, especially when most everybody has it. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really excited for you to be pregnant. That's amazing, 28 weeks pregnant. What other questions do you guys have? A lot of, I was getting a lot of questions earlier about diet, certain things that create outbreaks. Um, a lot of times peanuts or nuts can cause outbreaks in people. Other things like chocolate, um, sorry if you're a chocoholic like me, um, alcohol for some people, as well as um, sugary diets. My long-term thoughts on antivirals, well, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. Um, my own personal beliefs on any sort of medication is unless it's something you absolutely need, like uh, you need it to survive, right? Then uh, I would say why take it? Um, so I'm not on the daily antiviral because I feel like I don't necessarily need to be on it. Do I get outbreaks? Yeah, I get outbreaks. Do I take it when I have outbreaks? Yeah, I take it when I have outbreaks. But do I need it every single day? No, my body pretty much does a good job of keeping them at bay. So that's how I personally feel about it. Yeah, all of our favorite foods cause outbreaks. It doesn't mean it's going to cause an outbreak for you. It just means that these are things that can trigger it. So to be consuming it in quantities, a lot of times we can kind of... Um, fix it or like get around it by looking at how much we actually consume. 
All right, my friends, I'm going to go. I will see you guys tomorrow on the live, and uh, mm -hmm. hope you all have a great day. Bye.